Everyone I spoke to recently, Dan, about this this project, whether they know the scene or not, whether they know uh, they're a fan of Lennon's or not. Um, the scene with Claudio really resonates with people, and I just wondered what why you think that 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 is. Why why is it why is it so resonant with with, with people? Well, I, Claudio comes across as very fragile, mm-hmm. you know, very fragile, uh, and and Don comes across as just like really caring person, you know, and it's, I think that's, I think people love that about John, you know, I mean, John was, John, John could be as sharp as a razor if he felt like it, you know, he could, Mm -hmm. he could cut you down, you know, he was, he he was a tough kid, Uh, you know, he, he felt he had lost a lot because his father abandoned him and his mother pretty much abandoned him for, for her sister, you know, for Aunt Mimi to bring him up. Yeah. Um, so he had a lot of he had a lot of pain, you know, and so he he had a tough side to him, but he also was a, a had a, a sweetness about him, and you see it there the you know a caring and empathy for people. Yeah. And, yeah. And I think I think that's why his why his one of the reasons his work is is so important. Yeah. Uh, it's because he has that vulnerability, you know. Yeah. Yeah. He's able to. You know, and to, and in the end of, at the end of the, the thing, the scene with Claudio, at the end of it, he's concerned about the fact that the, the kid hasn't eaten anything. You know? Yeah. He's hungry. Yeah, yeah right. Looking I, at a, he's, looking, he's not looking at a threat or, you know, oh, another fan or like that. Suddenly, he, what John sees is a guy who's been standing out in the cold, you know, forever, you know, just, yeah. well, it wasn't cold, it was overtime, but, um, and is hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it brings him right into the house. You it's know? such a compassionate scene. It, is. It, 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 it does show that side of him. And, um, I can see this project turning into some kind of mental health awareness thing as well, because I I, I, um, I think that it does, like you say, it shows John's compassionate side. And it's obvious that Claudio, like you say, is, is, is fragile and, and, and vulnerable and he's suffering from some kind of men, mental issue. Um, but I just wanted to know what what was the general impression of people back then as far as mental problems was concerned and what was the treatment and things? Well, that's a big question. Um, the I think... I think we were under the, remember, we were thinking that this was a, a, a kid who had come back from Vietnam and was shell-shocked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, what, that's what we thought. You know, yeah. Okay. So it had a political, the whole thing had a political tinge to it because this is right in the middle of the anti-war movement and John and Yoko were very, were leaders in the anti-war movement. Yeah. So. There's there's a whole there's a whole political dimension to, to to this because this was an example of what happens to people because of war you know yeah. war destroys kills people destroys people things like that which was actually wasn't the case you know right uh, yeah Cloud was Cloud, he was like that all his life it was more of a, a I don't know I don't know. I don't, I don't know what diagnosis diagnosis was or whatnot, but he was in many ways had a simplicity about him that was uh, almost a vulnerability and uh, whatnot. Yeah. And um, we were thinking that's because he was broken by war. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that was so you have to see it sort of from from that perspective. And mm-hmm. so John Yoko were one of the things that they were thinking was okay. We're in our film. We're going to give people an example of how soldiers are are broken by war. Right. Understood. Yeah. Yeah. So well, that would that, that would have been that the, wasn't the, that wasn't said. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we didn't say, "Oh, this is a you know, this is Claudio is a, a, a soldier." Yeah. That was yeah. never mentioned. There, there's no indication of it. Yeah. But yeah. that was uh, that was sort of a backstory that was going on in their heads. You know? Yeah. 